Hey guys and welcome back to another video and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make custom discord rich presents in discord. Let's get right into it. So first let me explain what presence is. So rich presence is basically, it basically allows you to give more detail of the game you're playing right now. So for example, this is just thing something without rich presence. It just says your game, the game's icon, and how long you've been playing it for. And by rich presence, it says the game you're playing, the game icon, and a small icon, details, state, and time elapsed. So first, time for setup. Here, yeah, we're going to go to discord.com slash developers. And it should bring you to a page like this. It, it should be empty and I'm just blurring it since I have some uh, stuff that I don't wanna show you guys. So all I need to do is hit new application. I'm gonna call mine example RPC, but I have already prepared for one, so I'm not going to create one. Example RPC. So here, you can add an app icon. It should be a minimum of 512 by 512. And we don't need to worry about these two tabs or this one. We need to go to Rich Presence. Now the cover image, I'm just going to do this. Um, yeah, for the cover image, I just have this orange thing, and we have to do add image, and then select an image that's at least 512 by 512, and it's going to be, um, uh, called large image, well, we can just call it image, actually, so then we're, we can go to the visualizer, and here we can just state details, and all of this stuff will show, and I do not actually know how to use this timestamp thing. So, we can actually get the code, but this is going to be useless for us because we are going to be coding our, um, we're going to be coding our, um, rich presence in a language called JavaScript. So, JavaScript is a pretty good language. Um, it lets you do a lot of stuff. Um, so let's go right into the coding. So uh, we need an IDE. So you can use a text editor, but I'm going to be using VS Code. The download link for VS Code will be in the description. So here we have to click New Terminal and you can just get out of the command prompt if you're not using VS Code. And um, you have to do select default shell, hit command prompt, and then restart VS Code. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type an npm in it. And it'll, and it'll say like package name, I'm gonna call it uh, example underscore RPC. Oh, um, example RPC. Then the version 1.0.0, because, yeah. Okay, this description rich presence for my tutorial. And then we're going to do index.js. Test command. We're going to replace this. It's going to be node um, index.js. We might actually change this. So we can leave this alone author Sid plays. And license, we don't need to worry about a license. Now type in it yes. Now you should see package.json. So we're gonna do scripts and I am going to do that and now we're gonna do run and oh yeah we gotta put a comma there so I'm gonna type in run and 
Then we're going to do Nodemon, Nodemon, whatever, however you say that, in index.js. Save that. Now we do npm install discord rpc dash save. Oh, we also have to do. Yeah, I'll have all the commands in the description of this video, and this can take a long time, so I'm just going to speed this up. Okay, so when you're done, um, in the package.json, you should see Discord RPC and that, however you say that. And there should be a new file called package-lock.json and then a folder called node underscore modules. Now, it's time for the actual coding. Here, we are going to create a new file called index.js. And here, first we need to define RPC. I'm gonna make this require Discord RPC. Now we need to do define RPC again, but instead make sure it's not capitals. And we need to do new RPC dot client transport IPC. And if you're having a hard time following along, I will have all of this code either in the description or on my GitHub. Well, wherever it is, it'll be linked in the description. Now I need to do rpc.on ready and then comma that equals and whatever that symbol is, I forget. Now RPC dot set activity and now we can type in details. So our details we can just go back to the visualizer and we can just enter everything. So details, I'm just gonna make this details state and I'm not gonna put anything to like do this stuff so large image key so if we go back here as you can see large image key you need to select your large image so I'm going to do large underscore image now I have a bunch of like reference things to copy so I am just going to paste all of this in right here as you can see all of that is in and here we can do console.log rpc active and now finally we do rpc.login client id and then we'll go back here to general information, copy our client ID, and paste it in here. So now, um, what we need to do is type in node index.js. So now, as you can see, it says RPC now active. And if we, uh, I have to restart my RPC. Um, no, never mind. As you can see right here, example RPC, de uh, details, state, and then our orange thing, exam large image text, small image text, all of that stuff. And to stop the RPC from actually going, press Control C. So that pretty much wraps everything up for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.